Hello, I am Chris Sabonis with NEC America. Today we're going to start the first of a three-part series covering NEC SL1100 hardware. NEC is orchestrating a brighter future. For further support on NEC SL1100 product, for sales support, please refer to NECSL1100.com. For technical support, please refer to NECNTech.com. And for financial leasing support, go to NECLease.com. If you'd like to reach out to your regional account representative, please find their contact information on our national map, and they'll be happy to assist you. To start with, any CSL 1100 product comes with a five-year warranty. Now, starting our overview. This is going to be the first of a three-part series. Part one, which we're going to cover right now, will be KSU cabinet and cards. Part two will be endpoint telephones, cordless mobility. And part three will be in-mail voicemail and optional equipment. Continuing with part one, cabinet and common cards. The SL1100 is a single expandable system. It enables you to accommodate a variety of trunks, and those trunks could be analog, T1 PRI, or SIP. It also allows you the flexibility to enable voice over IP extensions, digital station ports, and analog station ports. The SL1100 is configured in a main, initial main cabinet of zero lines, eight digital stations, and four analog ports. Also comes with two ports of auto attendant. It allows you to direct calls without message storage capability. One audio output port for external paging, non-amplified. Two audio input ports. Those would use mono auto mini jacks. They can be used for background music, music on hold, or sold on hold. Two door boxes with relays. Those relays can trigger, trigger a striker plate to open up a door, allow access through a gate, or start a camera. The cabinet is wall mountable and shelf mountable. So it is rack mountable by attaching it to a shelf. The cabinet has three expansion slots. Now for the expansion slots and common cards. Start with, we have a four port analog CO card. You can have a maximum of three analog CO cards in the system. The first mounts to the motherboard. The second and third cards mount to station cards. Endpoint and station cards. We have an eight port digital station card. You can have a maximum of two additional cards per cabinet. You have an eight port analog station card, and again, a maximum two per cabinet. Then we have a voice over IP daughter board that mounts onto the CPU. It comes with 16 resources, four SIP trunk licenses. Those 16 resources will facilitate up to 32 extensions. You can add one more 16 port resource license onto that voice over IP daughter board for a total of 32 resources that will facilitate up to 64 voice over IP extensions. The SL1100 expands beyond its base cabinet or primary cabinet maximum size of 12 lines, 24 digital stations, and four analog ports, and will grow all the way up to 196 total ports. We would do that by adding a expansion card into the main cabinet, and then we could connect three other secondary cabinets to that main cabinet. Each one of those cabinets maximum build out would be 12 lines, 24 stations, 
and four analog ports, bringing us to 48 total lines, 96 digital extensions, and 16 analog extensions. We could also include in there the 64 voice over IP extensions. If we were to add T1 PRI, card one would have to be mounted in the primary cabinet, and then card two would be mounted in the first secondary cabinet. That again gives us two T1 PRIs for the system. We have a variety of optional licenses that will be discussed a little bit later. The NEC SL1100 has it all. It is easy to configure, easy to assemble. It comes with a five-year warranty. No contract, no volume requirements. There are three levels of training available. Again, we have training at www.necntac.com. We have one-day regional classes held across the United States. And then we hold a three-day national class in Dallas, Texas at our corporate headquarters. And last, we'll help you sell NEC SL 1100 by offering NEC financial services. Again, thank you for participating. Have a great day.